Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 15th through the 21st. I just started your reading, but these cards, they all fell out into a big mess. So you guys are dealing, I don't know what is going on, but this is a mess. Okay, so anyway, this is for March 15th through the 21st for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. Feels as though there could be a fallout because the cards, it just, it just fell out and it was a huge mess. So what do we have for Leo? I think I'll just take those. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pineapple. Reconciliation. Broken wishbone. A wish will not be granted. You know, it's interesting because these two came out, right? That somebody may want a reconciliation. Maybe the answer is no. Okay? And that could be a mess. That could cause a big mess. I do see that, you know, um, it, you may have to surrender. You may have to surrender. You may have to let something go. Maybe you need to walk away. What do we have for, for Leo? What do we have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for Leo? What do we have? Six Cups. This is the past. Something with the past. Reconciliation with the past. Somebody from the past may want a reconciliation with you. Um, you're probably going to be doing a lot of reminiscing. Uh, this is nostalgia, thinking about the past, thinking about the memories. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's get another right out. We have six of swords. Six six. Sixes are the journey to balance and harmony. Moving on. Moving on from the past. So somebody needs to move on from the past. They need to leave the past behind. Leave the trouble behind. You see the blood? Leave it behind. Somebody has been hurt very, very badly. Okay? They have. It's time to leave it behind and go to a better place. So this is about going to a better place. So I really feel like you're going to be in your feelings this week. You're going to be thinking about the past, reminiscing thinking about the hurt that has caused, and going to a better place. I mean, the sixes are a journey. And, and some people think that 666 is a devil number. Six is on the path to balance and harmony. Okay? It's not a devil number. It's where you take back control. So in a sense, you could say it is, if you give the control away to the devil... You take back control. Now, I'm not sure if you're dealing with the devil. I mean, the devil's Capricorn. I brought it up. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know where that came from. But 666 is about getting your life back on track. This is a spiritual wake-up call. It's leaving the past behind. King of Swords reversed. There's been an abuse of power here. There's been some sort of abuse, maybe even gaslighting. I feel as though uh, you're dealing with somebody that is dishonest, violent, ruthless, lacks integrity. You need to leave this person behind. This is somebody that doesn't treat you with kindly, may say things without thinking. Very abusive energy. You need to leave the abuse behind. This is a bully, intimidator. This is somebody that you know that is in your past that may have lost their power over you. Maybe now they want a reconciliation. You know, that's what people do. When they see that you are on the journey to balance and harmony, you're taking the steps to move on. That's typically when they try to gain their power back. 
So I do believe that um, you're dealing with somebody that is power crazed, and they may, they may, they obviously they hurt you in the past, and I think that you need to keep going. You need to keep going. Be very, very careful this week. You're going to be in your feelings over this person, the abuse, okay, or the neglect or something like that. Judgment reverse. There's no chance in reconciliation. This person may want a reconciliation, but they lie. We have lies here. You got to be very, very careful. There's poor health. You need to move on from the bad choice. I mean, judgment reversed is, is uh, not answering the higher call, not listening not accepting, not releasing. There's a need to accept the truth about a person that has abused you. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be Capricorn, could be a Scorpio. It feels like you really need to turn your back on the situation. Don't communicate. Queen of Cups. The world. This is an ending. It's a major ending. It's a major completion. It's a lesson learned. I feel as though you are going to be going in a new direction this week. Something significant is ending in your life with this person. You have a significant ending with somebody that has abused their power over you. This is it. It's over. There could be a change of residence that is coming. This is leaving the past behind. Stepping into a new life, starting starting over, starting a new journey. Um, I believe that you're going to definitely be in your feelings. You're going to be feeling very emotional over a completion of some sort. Something significant is ending because the world card is a significant ending. Something that impacted your life in a very big way is coming to a complete end. That cycle, that time, that project, that whatever it is, is over. It's done. And I feel like I feel like it's it's really over. There is no chance in reconciliation. It is completely over. We may even have somebody here that has some mental health issues. I don't think it's you. I think it's whoever you were dealing with. You may have been hoping that someday this person would change. This person isn't going to change. They, they aren't very logical. Okay, they aren't logical. They are very abusive. And I feel like you've given your all to this person. You opened your heart to this person. Anyway, I feel like you need self-love. You need to do what's right for you. You need to love yourself enough to not lie to yourself. You've got to be honest with yourself. Temperance reverse. Now that is repeating negative patterns. Going overboard. Something is off. There's a need to re-examine. There's addictions here. Self-healing is needing. We have, we have somebody here that uh, doesn't go with the flow, that doesn't accept change, that will not release, that will not let go. This is somebody that has a lot of pride, obviously. I mean, temperance reversed is profound self-healing is needed. And I mentioned self-love. So you need, it's like you need to heal. There's something better for you. But this is not healthy, frustrated, inappropriate behavior. Somebody is going overboard. They've made a bad choice. There's abuse here. And maybe it's even child abuse. Because this is child and this is abuse. So I'm not sure if there's some sort of child abuse here. This could be a counselor or a nurse or somebody that is, is, is going to be um, revealing some truth this week. Because this is truth. Something is coming to an end. We have somebody here that has not changed. They have not learned their lesson. They will not compromise. They will not blend. 
So I do believe that there is somebody that is making a choice. Okay, they're making a choice of some sort in regards to emotional fulfillment. And the best choice is to leave. This is not healthy at all. There's poor health, both of these cards right here. We have somebody here that needs to leave an unhealthy situation where there is abuse. Mental, emotional, could be a mental abuse, could be emotional abuse, could be neglect. Somebody's going to a better place, moving in a new direction, ending a significant chapter in their life. It's, it's almost like they're learning their lesson the hard way. Somebody may be found guilty. You know, the judgment reversed is guilty. I don't know if there's a drinking problem here or a drug problem or an addiction. You know, somebody's definitely going overboard. They're overdoing it. This is extremes, going to extremes. It's extremely unhealthy. There's definitely going to be some movement this week. The sixes are the journey to balance and harmony. So somebody is going to be traveling. This is traveling as well. They're going to be traveling to a better place. There's been lies, okay? There has been. Somebody's, I feel like we have somebody here that is sick. Something is off. We have a very intuitive person who knows that something is off. They know that somebody isn't telling the truth. There could even be an investigation here. There is a re-examination going on. Maybe it's you re-examining something. Somebody is re-examining the truth. Re-examining. It feels like the evidence. Judgment is about court, right? And this is a re-examination. So I'm wondering if something is being re-examined this week. And maybe it's in your own. Maybe you're re-examining something with somebody that you have been dealing with. Either way, the world card is, a, is an ending. Okay, it is. It is, a, it is the end of a situation. It is freedom. It's completion of a cycle. This is completing one chapter and beginning a new one. So you do have a new beginning here where there will be emotional fulfillment after you heal. This is not healed yet. Somebody may be leaving your life. I just got to be honest with you. Somebody's leaving Three of Wands, get prepared. There could be an arrival and a departure, either or. Somebody could be arriving, you've been waiting for this, and then there's a departure. So it's like there's an arrival and a departure of some sort. Three of Wands, something is coming that you have been waiting for. But it comes after. you you got to release something. This is lack of release. This is lack of release. Lack of acceptance. It re Both of them. There's lack of acceptance. You have to accept the truth. Don't pretend. You can't pretend. Anyway, this week I feel like there's a new vision. Getting, taking, taking a new approach this week. Going for it, hoping and praying for the best with that Three of Wands. I think that something is happening and the only thing you can do is be on board with it. Just do it. Be on, get on board with it. Whatever it is, get on board with it. Don't fight it. I do believe that you are going in a new direction this week or somebody is, is that you are dealing with is going in a new direction. We have a very cold, uncaring individual here with the Knight of or the King of Swords reversed. That is somebody that doesn't care about your feelings. This person doesn't care about your feelings. Okay, they're making somebody is making a judgment call and it may not go in your favor, and I'm not sure what that is. 
All you can do is hope and pray for the best. Something is coming to an end that I think that, you know, you have been reluctant to leave it behind, but you are going to be leaving it behind. Something is off. We have somebody here that really isn't healthy. They are not healthy at all. And now it's like seeing it. The Three of Wands is seeing it. We have a very uh, intuitive, uh, empathic person. I don't know if it's a nurse or it's a counselor or somebody that is um, very caring, takes care of others. Maybe it's for a living. Is seeing something. You know, they're seeing something. That, that, that this is that somebody isn't healthy I do see moving somebody's moving traveling moving or traveling if it's not moving it's traveling traveling to a new destination ace of swords so that is truth the cold hard truth, okay, the raw truth, some sort of truth, and it's right over the judgment card, very interesting, some, somebody has not been telling the truth, and the truth is coming out this week, there is some sort of clarity, there is awakening here, it's a wake up call, somebody's about to get a wake up call, or an epiphany, they start to see the truth, or they see the truth very, very clearly, they may have missed it in the past, because there was some sort of manipulation, but here comes the truth, we have somebody here that hasn't changed with the temperance card. They haven't changed at all. They have not evolved. And they're not healthy. So the Ace of Swords is taking a new approach, seeing the truth, being honest and upfront. Somebody is going to be making an informed decision in regards to their future or somebody else's future. It's time for a brighter future. It's time for peace. It's time for harmony. It's, it's time for a better life. It's time to go. It may be hard to accept that it's time to go. Anyway, this is seeing the truth very, very clearly that it's time to leave behind. Leave this behind. It's time to focus on the future. It's time to get on board. It's time to go. I also feel as though you guys are going to be receiving some support from somebody. Okay, you've got some support here. Some, and I don't know what, or it's, I don't know. It feels like this is a counselor or something. I don't know. It's like, it's like you're going to be receiving some support from somebody. Um, somebody may also be expressing something, expressing some sort of information that they have. They may be saying, you know, something isn't right. Get prepared for some sort of communication or some sort of truth to come out about an unbalanced, unhealthy individual. This person isn't healthy at all. This may throw you off. This may, this may put you in your feelings. You may have a hard time controlling your feelings. There's really no chance in reconciliation here with this card. These are both no reconciliation. Both of these cards. There's no, both of them. Judgment reverse and temperance reverse. There's no coming together. There's no working together. There's no balance. There's no harmony. There's no truth. There's guilty. Somebody is guilty. Ill. There's poor health here. We got somebody here that, and it could be mentally ill. And we have an individual that, I don't know if it's a doctor or a nurse or somebody that is in a, a caring position, a care, a caregiver. This is like a caregiver that is um, seeing something very clearly because this is a vision and this is seeing something clearly. So something is going to be seen this week and, or it has been seen already. And there's going to be some movement. It's going to a better place. So I believe that you are going to be leaving something behind. 
I feel like this is going to bring you to a better place. I mean, the Six of Swords is moving to a better place, traveling to a better, better place, leaving the troubled waters behind, leaving the past behind, leaving the pain behind. Some of you, I, I don't know, maybe even going to rehab. And if it's not you, it's somebody that you're dealing with. There is no chance in reconciliation. There's no chance of going back. This is over. It's done. This is the end of that chapter of your life. It's time to get on board and focus on your future. Be honest with yourself. Accept and allow that everything happens for a reason. And this is not wanting to accept and allow that everything happens for a reason. There, I feel as though you're going to really be in your emotions this week. You're, you're going to have a hard time dealing with a departure of some sort. I think we have a departure here. You are going to need to find the strength to let go. We can get it to focus. You're going to need to find the strength. That's what the strength card means. The strength to let go. The courage. You're going to have to master your emotions. This is a graceful acceptance, right? This week, you're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to refrain yourself in some way. Whatever is happening this week, you're going to have to be very, very, very strong. They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. This is a week where you're going to become a stronger person. So anyway, Leo, I feel like you need to... This is also a card of courage. And it's the courage... To, to do whatever it takes to bring peace. So anyway, I feel like this week you're going to be you're going to be really and this is a card of healing as well. You're going to be going through a period of healing as you say goodbye to something that has no chance of getting better. And I feel like you've been hoping, you've been hoping that, that this would work out. It's not going to work out. It's time for you to say goodbye. Be honest with yourself. Listen to your gut. It's time to go. It's time to go. We also have somebody here that is going to extremes. They could be leaving suddenly. This person is not going to wake up. This is lack of awakening. And that may be your wake-up call. Good luck.